Hi students and parents of Year 7, it's Mr Taylor here. I'm just going to run through a quick video that shows you how to access your Gopher Schools report. So I've just clicked on the Parents button on the main web page for Gopher Schools, and that's taking me through to the login page. Students, remember you need to access um, the or click on the Student button so you're accessing the student pages. Now, parents, you need to uh, enter your registered email address um, in here and your password, and you can access the system. If you're a first-time user, then you need to uh, put your email address in here and click on please send me a password. And that will send you a password, which we can change in a moment, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, if you've forgotten your password, so if, you, if you have accessed the system before and um, you've forgotten your password, then put your email address in here, hit please send me a password, and you'll get a new password. So I've got two students at this school, um, and I've just come through into my homepage, and you can see I've... I've got student one and student two. Student one hasn't got a report in um, Go for Schools yet, and student two is my year seven student. So I'm going to click on student two. Just a uh, word of note here: we've got my settings up here, and that's where you can change your password. But as I said, I'm going to click on student two, and that's going to take me through to my child's homepage. So I'm not going to focus in too much on this this page because I've, I've previously done a video that explains each of the, the different sections. So I'm going to uh, scroll right down to the Progress and Reports section. Now in the Progress and Reports section, you can see here that we've got our uh, 8th of December report, which was our flight path report, and this one's already been viewed. So we've got a new report here, which is our uh, one that's been published on the 5th of March, and we've got our uh, View Report button down here. You can see an exc exclamation mark there that says, or indicates that this hasn't been viewed yet. So I'm going to click on the View Report button, and it takes me through to the report. Now I'm going to suggest that you view this report as a PDF, um, because it's a much nicer version. You can save the PDF, um, you can print it out much more easily, and the links over here on this side um, go through to our website as when it's uh, viewed as a PDF. So if you click on View as a PDF there, and it takes you through to the report. Now, this is the uh, first page. I'm going to scroll through. And here's the second page. And this is the, the meat of the report. So we're going to look at um, the table here. And it says flight path target. And this should be an equals, a letter followed by an equals. So it'll be a B equals, a P equals, or a Y equals. And B obviously stands for blue. P for pink and Y for yellow. So they're all equals and that's what we're looking for the students to achieve at the end of each area of focus and by the end of the year. Now you'll see that area of focus one and two have been completed for most subjects. Where it hasn't been completed, like PE here, um, PE are on a rotation. So not all the students cover the same activity at, at one time throughout the year. So they're not all on badminton and sports hall. Um, so that will appear in, in different blocks uh, for PE. So um, that's why that's the reason as to why they're not in area focus one and two, um, just for this child's report. Now we're looking for students to be on an equals. So here B equals. So they've got a B equals in their area focus one. That means they're making the expected amount of progress in relation to their flight path. Um, and a bit further down, we've got a B plus, which means that they're exceeding the expectations on their flight path. So that's really good. Where they've got a minus here. So you can see here, drama and English in Air Focus 1, uh, this student got a minus, so they're making below expected progress. That's where we'd be looking to, um, to look at the expected outcomes and look at the books and then see where they've got some gaps and, and maybe then looking at how to address those, those gaps. So that should be form the basis of conversations with, with teaching staff. So that's Air Focus 1 and 2. We've also got over here, we've got an overall and our overall is basically the teacher's judgment about how a uh, child is performing over the last couple of uh, areas of focus in relation to the, the yearly expectations. So are they at the right place um, at this stage of the year? So you can see there, we'd expect them to be on equals. Um, if they're making the expected progress, obviously, <coughs> excuse me, they may be on a, a plus, or they may be on a minus. And that's what we, we really want to hone in on those minuses to make sure that they're making the expected amount of progress. Uh, we've also got an attitude to learning uh, column here and the four descriptors you can see there we've got excellent, good, satisfactory and poor. I'll let you read uh, what they mean. Uh, but we've also got uh, behaviour 
uh, and that's really important in lessons as well. So um, you can have a look at whether your child is, is behaving themselves um, and doing the right things in lessons. And finally, we've got here, uh, we've got our description. Now, these are all uh, hyperlinks to our websites where you can then go and view each area of focus. So if you want to see um, that in history area of focus two, that this student hasn't quite made the expected amount of progress, you can go and click on the history area of focus over here and um, have a look at what they were expected to do and then go and look at the books and see um, whether the student uh, needs to address some gaps or you can have that conversation with that member of staff. That's the report in a nutshell. Um, if you've got any questions related to the reports in general, so in, in terms of go for schools, then please direct those queries to reception and they'll forward them on to the data team. Um, if you've got any subject specific questions, then please um, get in contact with members of staff. Um, I know we've got parents evening coming up, so um, you can have a look you can have a conversation with staff about how students are, uh, are doing in relation to those expected outcomes. Thanks for listening and bye for now.